Well, hello again. I've been asked how um, we would go about modelling a roof such as this one. And uh, it looks pretty complicated with all the framing diagram underneath. So if we turn that off, um, hide the background, um, it makes it look somewhat simpler, but still quite complicated in this section here. And um, made more so by the uh, the documentation, but in any case, um, how do we take a look? As we've discussed in many of our training videos, uh, anything to do with complicated roof shapes, uh, a complicated roof is really a, a set of simple roofs. And when we approach it as a series of simple roofs, life does get somewhat simpler, but there are some complications. So. Um, Let's uh, let's go about this. Um, I'm going to skip over a few things just for convenience. And um, like for example, I don't need to teach you how to to scale this uh, background image because that's dealt with in multiple other YouTube videos. But I, I want to ask you all: Have you anybody seen this before? Now I've only been drafting for coming up 50 years, and I started drafting when Australia was uh, was Imperial and so I did feet and inches and then we went to uh, metric and I've done metric since and so I'm somewhat ambidextrous in that regard but I have to say I've never seen this I presume that means 78 foot 2 at least that's what I assumed that it was and that's what I, I used when I scaled it but I've never seen that method of annotation of dimensions so anybody wants to drop me an email and give me a little bit of background on that that would be awesome uh, quite odd anyway um, I've scaled it based on 78 foot 2 and I've checked it and it's come out bang on so um, so let's look at this complicated roof um, we look at where the eave heights change and that's where the complications usually arise so we've got an eave height around here and if we drag the drawing across, you'll see exactly what we're dealing with and why it's complicated. Um, we've got an eave height, notionally 10 foot eave height all the way around, and we've got this thing sticking out the top here at 14 feet. And so, um, and if we go back up to the, the um, rendering of it, you'll see that that's what we're trying to deal with. Right, with that in mind, how do we tackle this thing? So. Well, I'm not going to uh, um, show you how we digitise or track around the perimeter because um, that's just a waste of time and you already know how to do that. So, and I've already done this once already, so let's, um, let's get that outline. So that's the outline of everything around here that's at 10 foot E5. And we, do we want to change the outline? No. And the pitch, yeah, 612. Uh, because I've done the perimeter, uh, there's no eave overhang, and the eave height is 10 feet. So we hit OK, and continue, and it builds that part of the roof. So that's all the roof that's at 10 feet. And th now we've got this fella here, which is notionally at 14 feet. And so, same story. Uh, just we just track the outline and digitize and because this is only a couple of lines I'll do this um, and curiosity of this one is that in this case because I want to start at the um, with the wall outline because that's going to cut out the other roof uh, and I want it just somewhere up there and close square and in this case still 612 but the eave overhangs 18 inches and the eave height's 14 feet um, okay and i want a gable end uh, on that end so uh continue so now we have if we look at the front view we've got our 10 foot eave height and this thing at 14 feet and if we go to the isometric view, um, there, there we have what we have. Now, the trick is, well, not a trick really, it's just work. 
um, we've now got to reconstruct the geometry around all of this and and that's where it gets a little complicated not difficult just you've just got to pay attention to the geometry so the quickest and easiest way to get all the lines that we need um, the, the bottom line is we're going to use smart lines comprehensively to uh, rebuild this roof and and I will identify um, any of the tricky bits or bits that I think are a bit tricky. So the first thing I want to do is cut out around where this fella goes. So modify roof cut out. I'm going to auto track the cut out and select the planes to cut and delete the internal pieces. So, okay. Track around that wall line and I want to cut out that roof plane and that roof plane. Done. Right, so why did we do that? Well, we did that because it's given us the line work we need. Okay, it's not right, yeah, we know that, but um, it gives us the line work we need to now reconstruct the geometry of this thing. So, um, what do we want to do next? Well, Smart Lines requires us to um, rebuild a whole bunch of the geometry. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what, what do we have to do first? Go back to the top view for a minute. So we need to get ourselves a bit of a valley into there. We've got a bit of a hip happening up there. Um, and that, it's got to become a ridge. This bit of ridge line has to be trimmed back to there and put another bit of hip there. And, and by the time we do all that, um, it'll be virtually done. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we know when we um, when we're modifying line work we can only modify the, the line work if the planes aren't there if the planes are there we can't modify the lines so the first thing we do is delete all the planes that will be affected and <laughs> it's nearly all of them it's a bit depressing isn't it um, uh, but that's how it is uh, we don't need the gable end plane so I'll get rid of that too okay and I'm gonna leave those gable end lines in because that's gonna help us um, maybe right so quick and easy first step um first thing i want to do that bit of rake line it isn't going to be there actually um oops construct roof uh move that thing back into there and that's the first thing that will help us out um that one stays where it is it'll be trimmed back later on this will be trimmed so What's the guiding bit of this? Um, that valley's got to move. Oops. Into there. And then those two lines need to trim. And as soon as you get a plane that's complete, put it in. Because that locks it. You can't mess it up once it's in there. Um, that's now, in effect, locked in. So, um, and the next thing I'm going to need is a bit of a hip line that comes out of there and goes up to there somewhere. Um, that's enough of that for now for that one. Let's go back to the top view again to see what we've got. Righto, so we've now got to get this bit of eave line to trim up so we can put this valley in. And what determines the length of that valley? Well, it's going to be the length of this bit of ridge. So let's trim that line to a length. So we'll trim this bit of ridge line to a length. How long do we want it? Well, we want it. Hit the M for measure. So if you want to get really close to the action, I want to go measure from there to there. Just use our crosshairs to help us out to there. Six foot two and 27 sixty fourths. I reckon that's near enough to six foot three. And we hit OK. And that's now six foot three. Now, why that's cool, um, did I do the right end of it? No, I didn't. All right. Life's like that. I grabbed the wrong end. So it, I'm going to snap that into there. Right up. Um, yeah, you got to make sure you grab the right end to move. Otherwise, it trims it back to the... Anyway, you saw what I did and you know how to fix it. So now that that's, that's the right length, that determines where this bit of valley goes. So 
let's copy that bit of line there snap it into there and that's going to trim to make a corner between there and there and in fact it's not because in fact it's got a trim we've got to have we've got to have that trim with that if it trims but it doesn't that's a bother so we'll trim to Z we'll trim that to the Z of that and you'll see why in a minute okay so don't panic um, and we're going to trim that to the Z of that they don't quite line up and that's a real nuisance but it's not unusual because the guys designing these roofs don't always know exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to copy that bit of valley and I'm going to snap him into there and we'll, you'll see why in a minute. Um, Okie doke. Now, the problem with that is that, well, that should join, but it doesn't. Um, and we'll put a bit of hip in here. So we'll copy a hip line from there, copy that into there, and we'll trim that to the Z of that and you'll see they don't line up either we'll trim that to the Z of that that to the Z of that they should line up and if we look at it in the top view they actually do so what's that telling us it's telling us that the eave height of this is not 14 feet this whole bit here is not at 14 feet like it says in the drawing so what we've got to do we've got to bring it down to where it needs to be and how we do that is to use the modify roof group move and select all the entities that are going to be can move down and that one and that bit of eave line there and that zoom in a bit so notice the prompts always read the prompts the initial point to move all of that is from there and you see how I've got it on the cursor now to there and so so now, so now that one even lines up blow me down so now if I put that plane in back to construct roof put that bit of plane in uh, it's not quite right so trim to a corner trim that to the corner of that uh, that it's not quite working that's definitely joint so that's good um, down here we've got a bit of a problem so let's have a bit of a squiz around here and see what's going on um, I think I'll delete that one for now I know I just put it in there, but now I'm deleting it again. Um, so we're going to trim that end of that to make a corner with that one. That plane should uh, won't go in yet because I need another bit of valley from there. Whoops. And that's got a trim to make a corner. That end of that's got a trim to make a corner with that. Right. And then that plane will go in. No, yes. Now, you may not be aware, I'm using my middle and left button, um, so to answer that question, yes, no. So that plane goes in, that gives us a, a great deal of confidence that we're heading in the right track. Um, and then this one, if this one, bam, up around there, that should go in as well, so let's do that. Uh, yes. Does it? It should go um, up there, around there, down there, up there and around. Yeah, let's try that again. So go up there no yes right and that one's gone in so now we um, need to copy a bit of ridge line snap that into there and then that bit of ridge has to make a corner with that one and it does so let's put that plane in no yes no um, okay that's in so now we, this is where this, um, we, oh, what's, what's the best way to do that? Multiple ways. Let's just, uh, let's just copy, oops, copy that valley, snap him into there. 
and if this is all going according to plan uh, that's going to make a corner with that it does then we need another bit of line a little bit of valley line uh, from there down that's got to make a corner with our with our eave line that, that roof plane is ready to go in that way uh, yep and now this other one whoops this other one should go in up around there no yes no, yes, uh, no, yes, yes, okay, and that's it, now we just have to clean up, now as you know um, if we draw a box around stuff it might highlight a whole bunch of things but it will only delete the lines that are free to be deleted and that's a real quick way of cleaning stuff up so so long as you don't get the entire roof plane in it would delete everything that's not attached to something. So there's our roof, uh, that's how it's done. Um, you're absolutely right, it looked very complicated, but you can see that using all the tools in our Smart Lines Toolkit, uh, it's actually fairly straightforward. So um, it, it don't ever panic when you see these, they, they're a bit panic worthy, I have to say for sure, but um, they, they, they can all be done. If it can be built, it can be done. The trick here though, and this is what was probably making it difficult for the guy who asked me the question, we took as gospel what was drawn by the architect and the architect was wrong. And so if we verify, if we go to check, verify, uh, whoops, verify, it's this button, check the E height of that, that's 10 feet like specified on the drawing but this one is whoops that one it's not and uh, it's about six and a bit inches less so um, if you get stuck on stuff just remember that the guys designing these things can draw anything they like in 2d and they will always make it work in 2d but it's only when you start doing stuff in 3d you realize that geometry isn't quite what they design and um, that's not unusual so don't panic um, just make it work and you'll notice that I've now got extra wall lines there they're easily uh, dealt with just by turning them off and um, and that's how it's done so hopefully that helps uh, any questions on any other subject at any time drop us a line but um, yeah that was a doozy and I'd like to thank Chris down in Florida for asking that question. Um, appreciate it, Chris. Uh, keep up the good work, my friend. Take care, guys, and stay safe. Bye for now.